I have a great idea. Let's report twice as much profit as we actually made this year. I do not know about that idea. It sounds like fraud, and won't people find out? How would anyone know? The auditors we hire need our business for informational technology services and would never say anything to upset us. Haven't you heard about the Sarbanes-Oxley Act? What's the Sarbanes-Oxley Act? Well for one, the auditors are no longer self-regulated and are now under the oversight of a government agency. In addition, to reduce conflict of interests, if you provide audit services you can no longer simultaneously perform other non-audit consulting services. But I'm the CFO, whatever I say goes. If you want to sign off on these that is fine. But, if you get caught, there are serious penalties. Like what? Well, with the enactment of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act the penalties for fraud are up to a $5 million fine and imprisonment for up to 20 years. Wow. I am going to be careful to make sure that our financial statements are truthful even if it means we report lower earnings. When was the Sarbanes-Oxley Act enacted? It was enacted in 2002, after the accounting scandals that led to the surprise bankruptcies of Enron in 2001 and WorldCom a few months later. In both situations, there were major failures of independent auditors and many people lost a lot of money.